welcome to the vlog everybody um as always we're gonna be looking at the work i created uh for uni and then also a fun personal page in the middle um i hope you enjoy Okay, so today, today we had a tutorial where we went and we talked to one of our lecturers, or I don't really know what she does. She kind of is just there to support us, I guess. Um, she's really nice, though. Uh, we just kind of discussed what we've done so far in our group project, what we're going to do next, brainstorming ideas, kind of that sort of thing. Where did I put my notebook? Yeah, so these are our RSJs. I think I've talked about these before, maybe. But basically, I just used it to take some notes for today, write down my thoughts, anything that kind of seemed relevant and would help us with the process of making our zine um yeah or just my spread in the zine that kind of thing yesterday we designed and handed in our poster for our zine and basically all i did was did some research for exploring like what kind of imagery I wanted. I actually really like that tinned fish idea. I might revisit that. Not for this, just kind of on my own. Uh, the reason that it's all red and purple is that those are the two colors that we were allowed to use because we're doing screen printing. So we had to limit the color palette and the teachers were like you have to use red and purple so that's what we did um and then that was me exploring the design for the tin that would have been on the poster but we didn't do that um and then me and one of my group members who's also my flatmate was like hey wouldn't it be so cool because we want to do like a scrapbook kind of thing for a zine so we were like hey wouldn't it be so cool if we did a poster that was like one of those shelf trinket things that you can get at like beach um like gift shops and then we all draw individual little trinkets and then they're kind of photoshopped together so we have all of our illustrations all of our different styles on one poster instead of just one person having to illustrate the whole poster which i've seen with a couple other groups, including my friend. She had to illustrate the whole poster and she had to stay up so late doing it. I felt really bad. So we kind of um, explored that idea further, planned like the layout. I said that I'd do the one in the middle.
now that I'm done with my thumbnails and the general rude, uh, the general little drawings that I did, I'm probably going to go on Pinterest, look for some zine cover ideas, and then upload them to the Padlet, and then I'm done for the day. My contributions have been added to the Padlet. Um, yeah, there's not much more I can do. I was thinking it might be really cool because our whole theme for our zine is like ocean and nostalgia. So like nostalgia surrounding like the sea, beaches, sea creatures, all that kind of thing. That's better. <laughs> um, so I thought it'd be really cool, back when I did my scuba diving license and we were learning about the types of fish that were dangerous, they got these, like, charts up on the board that just had all of the fish listed. Um, so we knew what they looked like, how big they were, like, in comparison to the other fish. Um, and I just think it would be so cool for the cover of our zine if it was one of those educational charts but collaged with like different sea creatures like from our childhood and stuff. So like for me, I would put like sea turtles and a whale shark on there and like coral reef too, because it's not just for fish. There's like, um, like life, there's flower ones. I'm sure you've seen them uh, too. And that would be really cool. And then everyone can contribute something to the front cover so it would stick to the like collage um, scrapbook feel that we're going for.
The poster that I worked on designing um, earlier this week and over the weekend has been printed and it looks really cool. There's a bit of distortion um, over it, but that's this one's our one. So we've got the logo that I made in the middle. We are the boys and then the little fish head that I drew. Um, I'm super proud of it. I really like it. I'm, yeah, I'm just proud of it. I'm proud of what we did as a group. Um, I never would have come up with anything like this by myself. So yeah. And then after my online classes, what I've been doing today is I finally painted this sketch that I had made of a little Halloween pinup girl. I thought it would be super cute. Um, yeah, I'm proud of this. I like this. Basically everything I've done today, I'm proud of and I like. I just slept in so much. I slept through like all of my alarms. Um, thankfully it's only lunchtime, so I've still got like the second half of the day I can go to, but oh my God. <laughs> We're doing um, a mono printing workshop today, which is super exciting, but it means that I have to wear clothes that I don't really care about. Otherwise, I'm gonna get ink like all over all of my nice stuff. up for the week. Today I went to my friend's accommodation and I had a meeting with my group where we talked about everything, finally got all the information we need for our zine sorted. I did some work with fonts in my sketchbook, which I'll show you in just a moment. Um, and I reflected on that and basically just what I got out of that. As for the drawing I did today and yesterday, um, it's actually not much. I really hate this spread. Um, we've got these color pencil fish that I just, I don't know, I don't like them. I think it's because what I was trying to capture was the essence of these two little stamp designs that I made, um, but it just it just didn't come across that way, like, at all. Um, 
So I took a break from those fish because I was like, I just need to focus on other elements of my postcard right now. And I did these fonts, which I actually really like. Um, I think they're really cool. Yeah, <laughs> this is going to be super helpful for my postcard. And that's pretty much I did. That's pretty much all I did project-wise. On Friday, though, we did have our usual Friday workshop where I did some cool printmaking stuff. Most of this I actually really like. I, except for this one, I don't know. It was like I know what I was going for. But like, there's a splotch on it, and it just, yeah. Um, this, I think, is really interesting. This is really cool. Um, and then this one is my favorite one. Um, and then final print. But yeah. Um... I think that's it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, next week, I'll have my final zine, like, finished, which will be so cool. I'm so excited to see the final project of me and my group. Um, and I think we might be selling them... No, I don't think we're selling them next week. Um, but yeah, I am super excited, as always. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!